I am cleaned off the engine. What up, though, people? Welcome back to Easy's Rebuilds. I'm Easy E, and this is the place to be. I'm not doing too much of nothing, but I just bought another car. Another car just fell into my hands. Let's go take a look. So here she is, a 2009 Honda Accord. She has her beauty marks that I'm not going to be repairing she has brand new tires all the way around headlights need to be cleaned up I did this to the front bumper pushing it with my traverse she got nicks things little rust area right here see in the back but it scratches maybe from a dog I don't know but got this car from where I work at the interior is decent especially the back seats just need a little cleaning The front needs a little reconditioning. Both front seats gonna have to come out. The center console gonna have to come out for sure. And some cleaning in here. But like I said, I got this from my from my job. The plant manager that's about to retire was driving this car to work one a day and in his words it took a shit let me get this so he got the little 2.4 double overhead cam and it's not the 3.6 it's a little 2.4 this car was like it was well well taken care of but y'all there will know I just got it, I got it for the low load real real cheap because everybody at my job know that I work on cars and I have a YouTube small YouTube channel. So he came straight to me. He had the car actually pulled. One of the other supervisors pulled the car, went and got him and towed the car to the job where he parked it, where I park all my cars that's up there. And asked me if I wanted it, if I was interested in this car. And I said, I'll take a look. And it's where she came to hand. I'll tell you what was wrong with her, but she does run. She has 221. 99 so 200 and a 20 almost 222,000 miles on her for 2009 this, like I said this is my the plant managers work car his daily driver back and forth to work he bought this car when it had like 13,000 miles on it and had it ever since so there's like a two owner car I'm the third owner and we're gonna do some light touches to her clean her on up and send her on, on her way of course I'm gonna do an oil change I'm gonna change the brakes and the rotors change these front seats the center console and clean the interior but I got it for such a cheap price because what failed on him what always fails on these cars and she's at the house now because I did a temporary fix but the radio work, code AC, everything works. I did a temporary fix. Pop the trunk, only got one key fob. And that's what's failed. The CV axle failed.
fell on him and snapped in half on his way to work. Failure point is where this bushing, where this, yeah, this rubber bushing goes over that and it gets water and moisture up in there and eventually it rots away and snaps. Here's an aftermarket one that we'll be putting on because I do not like the one I put on there because it's almost it's the same exact one and it's rusting in the same area because actually that goes right up there is where it go and you see that's where it broke up under here and everything came out so I ran to my second home pick and pull pulled off the drive a CV axle and slapped her on this side he thought he needed a transmission like nope all he needed was CV axle that's why y'all can see all that grease in there so but when it broke, I don't know if y'all can see up in there. But when it broke, it swung all that grease everywhere. That's what's right there. So we're going to clean up the engine bay. Like I said, she got her dents and her dings. What can you say for 200 and almost 222,000 miles? Did I get that all right? 222,000 miles. Everybody interested in this car? Well, I still got to get this piece. Don't know where that piece went. But it's time to get to work. I'm going to jump in to show you how to replace the axle, even though it was already replaced. I just put it out the garage because I need my cars to be able to get on the trailer. So I had to do a quick fix. I didn't like it. And we're going to do it right and get it replaced. And you already seen this other piece right here is in the trunk. Get that replaced with the seats because the seats... I ain't, I ain't replacing no seat belt. Try to get all this cleaned up. Cause these seats are ripped on the sides, both of them. So we got replacement seats. I'm not gonna be doing that on video, but we're gonna show you how to replace these pesky drive axles. On this 2009 Honda Accord with a lot of miles. And she does run good. And I still gotta do an oil change on her. So I'll catch y'all back in a few. And we're back. We got the car jacked up. We got the tire off. Y'all can see all the lube from the axle just everywhere up in here. Had to get all set up because you're going to need a slew of tools if you're doing this in your backyard garage. So I'm going to be taking, the, I got to take the rotor off anyway because I got to change the rotors and the brake pads. I already got new rotors and pads because this rotor is kind of shot. If y'all can see all those waves up in there. So I do not want to reuse these rotors or these pads. And these rotors are like $100 a piece per, yeah, per side. So or I spent $200 on some rotors plus the brake pads. But it was $89.99 a piece. So but I use my discounts like I always do at Advanced Auto. So I got both rotors and brake pads for, I think, $202.00. Which wasn't that bad. It would have been more than that if I didn't have my used honey. Not sponsored. But like I said, you're going to need a slew of tools. I already disconnected the ABS sensor. Need a 10 millimeter to take those brackets off. Over here, you're going to need a 12 millimeter to take off this bracket for your brake caliber. You're going to need a 36 millimeter to take off the Axle nut after you put a flathead in there and beat it, beat, beat it in where it's knocked down at. I do believe over here you're gonna need a 17 millimeter to get the screw out the bottom for the. I forgot what that was for. Uh, for the bottom end of the strut. And pre probably 19 millimeter to get off the tie rod in. But like she does leak a little oil. Just a little couple of drips under there. I see where that's coming from. Like I said, this car does has 221, 222,000 miles. Like rotor's been replaced before because or the or the this hub been replaced. I don't think this rotor been replaced, but they didn't replace the screws because I had to drill them out. So 
So I'm about to jump into disassembling this. Y'all can watch me. Make sure you got a nice hammer. But I forgot what size that one was. Think that's a big boy up there. Okay, that's a 17. Also up there. So you gotta get that off, that off, all this off. Before you can even get the axle out. So let me get started. I wanna be the best in the game, invest in my name Check no restraints, I'm obsessed with the pain I ingest, I retain, assess and I change Possessed by the thought I'll be free one day From society's restraints, money, clout and fame Mud disease, a plague we all love to hate Have to play the game, have to make a name All our insecurities are on This display. is war with the enemy Think that it was meant to be Living in a time where disease is on every screen I won't let them fester me I know most are festering Negativity is a plague for the mentally weak No mercy, all I God is working, never stop searching, never quench the thirsty I'm toxic and psychotic, with this logic, you can't stop it It's been chronic since I was a boy, so neurotic and chaotic Go! to last with the webs I'm weaving I can change the past with all I'm achieving Got my foot on gas, never stop competing If you break like glass, then this life's gonna eat em. Make mistakes real fast, then you learn how to beat them if you off the cast, you can see all the healing If the pain's in the past, move on from the grave And put your foot on the gas, don't never stop competing, yeah I've been doing this, I'm on it I just wanna be iconic Sipping on a gin and tonic Got me going off when I'm on this topic, yeah If I ever play, I want it You know that I'm always honest Stay away from those who are toxic Keep by your face, no way you don't want it, yeah. Don't try to drain my energy The enemy is everything It's mentally unhealthily Spreading like a rare disease But I won't let it get to me I don't need your therapy I can leave a legacy But usually I just do a walk around But not on this car Because We ain't gonna be doing too much work to her It'll be a quick turnaround Hopefully I have her done before I get the title. I don't know I'm going to clean up that oil mess. I don't even think I'm going to clean it up. All that lube up from the axle. But here we go. Y'all see me? I got the old one out. The one I got from the junkyard. I didn't feel comfortable with this one because it's breaking in the same spot. It's all starting to ride away. But I bought this one just to Get the car on my trailer. It was only $17.99, but it was like $35, but I had a, had a voucher for $20 off since I'm always going to pick and pull, so I earn certificates. And here's one off another car at LKQ. Somebody had already broken and replaced it. So this is your aftermarket one. Or is it? Maybe they just replaced the shaft. Because, like, these boots been replaced, but I don't know. I just know this one is going in there. I can't do nothing about all that oil or the grease, the lubricant that's up in there. Maybe I could try to wipe, up, wipe out some of it. But I just got. got Two 17 millimeter bolts back here, but you only need to take those out unless you're changing the rotors while you had it. So I'm gonna get some some lube and put it on the shaft so I can pop the shaft back in, start putting everything right back together again, the same way I took everything back off. But I'm gonna get some of this stuff wiped out first. So I catch y'all back. Demons call when they do what they do And now I feel like taking off Find a place with the view The pain is never gonna stop If it's controlling you I know the time can heal it all I just gotta get through I just gotta get through I just gotta get through Cause I feel 
they're taking off Find a place for the view The pain is never gonna stop If it's controlling you I know the time can heal it all I just gotta get through Sometimes I feel like all is lost But I know it's not true I wanna put up all my walls Cause I'm not in the mood But then I cut myself off From the rest of the room I know the time can heal it all If you're patient and soon It can all be worth it All the searching Pain is never really permanent But damn it hurts man I could feel all of the turbulence and it's concerning I've been searching for a purpose, I hope it's worth it This society is really trying me Ain't no hide and seek, I hide to be far from anxiety I need my space, I need my privacy, I need some silence Please, you're all too loud, you don't speak quietly Opinions violently thrown across every surface It makes me nervous, it's the world honestly burning That's all I'm learning then we can make a turn and start reversing All our minds and put the work in We got some work, man I can hear the demons call when they do what they do And now I feel like taking off Find a place with the view The pain is never gonna stop If it's controlling you I know the time can heal it all I just gotta get through I just gotta get through I just gotta get through Cause I feel like taking off Find a place with the view The pain is never gonna stop If it's controlling you I know the time can heal it all I just gotta get through I just gotta get through and it's that freaking simple. It's not that hard to do. I did wipe up some of that grease. But it's not really that hard to do if you got the right tools in your tool bag to change the axle on one of these 2009 Honda Accords. Just remove what's ever in the way. I plugged everything back in. BS sensor plugged in. Everything's back tight again. Like I said, I was going to change the rotors and the pads. If I had this part, if I had it all apart anyway, no need to keep taking tires off and putting them back on. So I got the rotors, the rotor and the pad changed on this side. I do do the other side, but y'all don't need to see that. So. Things about to happen real quick, and I'm about to finish what I'm doing, and I get back to y'all. So, like I was saying, saying it's, it's not that hard to change this stuff. It's dark outside now. I didn't change the oil. Y'all need to see me changing the oil. I am cleaned off the engine. Y'all seen what it looked like before? If you haven't, we wind this video. But we cleaned the engine off. Scrubbed a little brush, some degreaser. Got a headlight out. Got to get these headlights shined up. But like I said, it, this car is going to be what it is. If you have scratches all over, like this was a work car. I'm not doing a complete paint job. I'm, it's too cold outside. I might. Put some scratch X on it. Try to get some of the scratches off. But got the brakes and rotors done on both sides. Oil change because you only had 30% oil life. And we got the engine all degreased and cleaned off. She purrs like a kitten. She stops and goes. Like I said, brand new spanking tires. Those are the only reason I got her. And like I said, this again, I got her from... The plant manager where I work at, he's about to retire his car, drive, CV axle broke. He said he's about to get him a retirement car. Do I want it? I looked at it. I said, yeah, I give him $500. I give you $500 for it. And he said, okay, he bring the title. And we exchanged money. And she became mine. And I fixed that at work so I can get her on the trailer and get her home. And we just got that replaced. With a better one that's not gonna break. You still gotta replace these front seats in the center console and do a lot of cleaning and a little armrest piece over there and do a lot of cleaning while I wait for the title. 
Because I like them, this thing is full of scratches. Like the suitcase on top. It's full of scratches, but sunroof work. Everything works in this car. High heat, cold AC. Just need a little detail, a little tender love and care. So with all that said, if you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't, give us a thumbs down. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Let us know how we doing over here at Easy Ease Rebuilds. Share this video with your friends, family, and coworkers if you would. It would be truly appreciated. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to Easy Ease Rebuilds. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever we release a new video. Go follow us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. We have merch at teespring.com. We take cash app donations. We take donations of cars. Or we give you $500 for it. It's all links in the description area below. My email is down there. Hit me up on my email. And with all that said, Stay tuned and stay blessed, people. Deuces! Uh -huh.